Ladies and gentlemen, we're live. Again, my name is Levo W E V O. I'm grateful for every single one of you guys. You have no idea like how much you make me want to do this. Just keep support, man. Keep support. Thank you guys so much. Start of the morning ritual. Imported straight from Guatemala. Gracias, Gio. Mm. Mm. And we like it strong. And an extra scoop for good luck. The reason why bun coffee pots are the best, bun, if you need to sponsor me, go ahead and do it now. Guys, don't wait for your coffee. Just let it brew. Just like voila. First and foremost, who are you? My name is Weebo. I'm an artist, but it's like a, a weird medley of a whole bunch of genres of music that I'm trying to create. I'm a hip hop slash soul slash jazzy slash R and B style of artist. One and only. One and only. <laughs> we boom! Yes. What am I looking for these monitors? Look in the building. And what exactly am I looking for in the monitor? Well, if it's the ones I'm thinking. I'm gonna call the man, huh? Hey, um, do you know exactly where those might be? The monitors? He said they might be in other cherries. And you're not just a rapper. I'm a producer too. That was actually what I first started to do. I got in a car accident and my parents like kind of put a keyboard in front of me and was like, you really love music, music, music. And I fell in love with it just because of all the different sounds and stuff that it makes. It started to like recreate songs, but my twist on it. So I fell in love with like music again, and it could make anybody feel any type of way. Just for the time of those three minutes or however long the song is, you can really feel so much. And I think that's what makes a great song if you can pull those emotions out of people. Yeah, and that's kind of how it started. I just wanted to create all these sounds, and it was just like so much funk and like soul always in my head, just melodies and stuff like that. So I just try to apply that into what the music I make. Oh, shit. I need to pace myself for this one because usually, like I said, I'm just dancing and running around and like freaking out. But I've never performed for an hour, so I gotta make sure my endurance is good enough to like not wear myself out. Because if I'm super tired, my voice is gonna be shaky. And I can't have my vocal sound back. Now you're here today. You're performing at Bucks. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not usually a morning person and like I don't wake up early, but I knew I had a show today and I woke up at 7.30. And then just all day, I'm just like waiting to go. I just want to perform. That's how I know it really means a lot to me. And I'm really eager to like go. <laughs> Let's release the songs that you're doing. I'm actually gonna be doing the whole thing off of my phone, which is kind of unfortunate because I know I'm gonna have my smartwatch so I can like pause it and stuff, but I wish I had an actual DJ so they could make my stuff go like fluently. Seriously? Yeah, I'm still relatively new to this, to be honest. So this is a good experience for me to like learn how to like make do with what I've got because this is a little bit, it just feels a little bit weird because I know everybody else is gonna have a full band, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be the only like Lone Ranger up there, but. I'm just gonna put on the best show I possibly can, and I don't wanna keep like, beep. All right, guys, so this, this, this. So I'm gonna try to like put a little comedy in there, but. So you're building this exact beat, just playing together, or? Uh, well, this is just something I downloaded off of YouTube. This is just like somebody else did a cover of this. Luckily, a replica is what it's called, because my band is not gonna be there tonight, so I've gotta use this guy's band that he put together. Uh, but right now, I'm just kind of putting them like this, because like, like I said, I've got them right here. I just gotta find my like good talking points. But like, I already know like where I'm gonna stop or where I'm gonna be like, talk about the next song. So 
I'm gonna put on a crazy ass show and it's gonna be banging so people like can't keep their eyes off, you know? I'm ready to go. I wish Ty was here so he could start talking or something. I just wanna hear him practice this song on Switch. Ow! Four times four. Love y'all. In progress. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. I wrote this song Thursday and recorded it Thursday night. Yeah. Uh, I've been looking for a better way in life. I remember thinking it would never be all right. Dollar, but my mama got a job. And when my sister goes to college, I want to take care of all of it. It can't happen overnight. Go have to make some sacrifices. But this feeling that I already have is priceless. Let's do it. Woo. So going back to wanting to be different than everybody else is performing. Mm. Is that translated in what you choose to wear? I love fashion. And I love standing out in that sense. And like, I get a lot of stuff for it sometimes because they're like, wow, that's what are you wearing? But I like that. It gives me more attention and it gives more for people to talk about. And like, in all reality, that's what you want. You want people talking about you. Do you have any idea of who inspired your style? Combination between like a little bit of Michael Jackson, a little bit of James Brown, a little bit of Elvis. I don't have the rhinestones really that crazy right now like Elvis, but like, I don't know. I just like vibrant and I like bright. I'm watching this one, gonna think I'm losing butterflies. Gotta put on the logo, you know? The most important part is the hair. I love you. And to be honest, the suspenders thing, that was my cousin. My granddad, he was the suspender king. My cousin was wearing a pair of my granddad's uh, suspenders and he was like, you should try them out. He was like, I think it'd be a good stage fit for you. Fell in love and like that was a, a, something to separate myself from other people. And then like once I saw that, I was like, okay, so this like, the clothing and stuff is an actual important part of what you're doing. Ooh, stop. Their pants being rolled up was a la Michael Jackson because I'm crazy about my socks. And I like James Brown, like how it was almost like they treated him like he was a king. He just goes crazy and he's dancing and dancing, dancing, sweating profusely. That's how I am too. After he's done, like a lot of times he would just get down on a knee and he'd be down like this. And then some guy would come over and put the, like, the coat, the cape, whatever it was. And it was just like full of rubies and different like bright, bright things. Right now, this is just like the start of it. Once I'm able and like I uh, have more traction and stuff like that and I have more shows and touring around like hopefully one day like different countries type of thing. I can't wait to just grow my wardrobe because right now I have a lot, you know, I'm very fortunate, but I don't have what I want to be able to set them up real quick. And I know this is like kind of a, a football saying, but like look good, play good. And that's kind of how I feel. Like if I look good, I'm gonna put on a crazy show, so. And it shows. Gotta <laughs> brush them up, you know? Gotta brush them up. Now I feel Boom, gravity Oh, oh, I know what look It's gonna send me to Is this watermelon sauce? Yes, sir My favorite fruit, you know? This is my favorite hobby, too, with music, so Put two and two together And you get four I need my I need my Incredible level, I'm feeling so high for the people, the devil, I came for the metal. Keep it running with it. ready, I think. It's a metal, I'm thinking it be with it. Came for me, showing the love, I'm respecting it, and it never settle. Showing up is half the battle. Put on the gas, never let up, I'm working the pack like a setup. Yeah, I work with the best team, looking for no dreams. 3K, a stag, the Benjamin Clean Clean. Very an extrovert. Mm. And then once you become the performer, yeah. from Jake to Weibo. Yeah, it's just two different people. And you want to change their experience as a whole. 
whether it be just for the hour long sets and they, what they can expect coming up. Exactly, yeah, and I, I love before the show getting kind of a feel and like a read of the room, walking around and kind of dancing around. And I don't want to say this selfishly, but I'm trying to separate myself from everybody else. Like I want people to notice me. When it comes to performing, that's what you need. You need people's eyes and attention on you. As soon as I step in there, it's just like something switches and I'm just like a different person. It's hard to explain without just like being there. And that's something my dad taught me. The art of performing and the art of like really getting a hold of people's attention and putting on a show opposed to just being at a show, you know? I want people to remember it for not just me singing, like, being a true entertainer, whether yeah. that's before the show, you're out there greeting everybody. Mm -hmm. That I love that. I love the whole interaction. And it's weird because I really I know extrovert definitely I am. But I also like like a lot of us I struggle with anxiety and like being around a lot of people like that, if I'm not performing, makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable, you know? And it's kinda of hard for me to like express myself how I usually do. But something about just like knowing people are coming there to see me and knowing that people are going there for live music or whatever the, uh, the situation is, it really just like, it puts something else in me that like, it's like I said, it's hard to explain. It's, it's just like a different person. I love the transformation and like, because I feel, I can like physically feel the switch and then it's just like, all right, it's go time now. And I think you'll see the difference in us conversing right now and then me in a uh, full form, I guess, you know. Right? Came alone, came alone. The old man's finally dead and gone, dead and gone. I'm freaking out, okay. bro. Woo! I got warmed up. Any <laughs> pre show rituals? How do you warm up? Um. Yeah, so kind of, um, it's uh, definitely my longest set. This is an hour set, and so I really have to warm up my vocal cords. Breathing exercises, I do that, and I like to, roughly like 15, 10 minutes before I go on, I just kind of like separate myself from everybody and get away from everything for a little bit and kind of just get in my own zone. I'm humming some of the songs. I'm going over some of the hard parts of the songs that like are challenges for me to like sing or rap or whatever it is going to be and kind of just kind of focus on what's about to happen and visualize myself up there. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live. My name's Weebo, it goes W-E-B-O. Starting off, I just want to thank you all so much for coming out. I'm actually from right down the road. So this is kind of homey for me. I love this. Who knows what's going to happen, but get ready to boogie a little bit. Let's do it. My name is Weebo. I make music this way. Uh, yeah. It's not fair to anyone out there to put in a fair share. But have I got anything to return all the work fair? Like, I'm not so down. You belong to me. The energy that I'm putting out. Butterflies before when you get that feeling like find a girl you really like and then talking to her, just walking up to her, you get that feeling in your stomach, you know? That's butterfly. Woo! I pick up my shoes and I run. I'm on my way to see my baby, she's so one. I hope she don't leave me, cause I'm late. I'll be there about 15 minutes if you can wait. So this 
this is a little, uh, little back. Some Frank Sinatra. If you know the song, fly to the moon. Let me play.
Leave's always there to push me when I'm up and pull me when I'm down. I'm gonna do everything I can to push you further. Let's get it, man. So you can push me when you're the best. Okay. One more time, Coyote! Thank you, man. This song is called The Bright Side. It'll be on my album that's coming out. I told Viva I wanted to make a song uh, that's positive about struggle. And uh, we did it in one night, you know. Uh, he made the beat and I wrote the song and we recorded it, got it all done in one night. And this is what happened. So it's called The Bright Side. I woke up today feeling like a better man. Just a feeling the old me wouldn't understand. How can I make a million if I'm not feeling grand? The bright side is finally came along, came along. The old me is finally dead gone, dead gone. appreciate the music that I appreciate a lot and that that means so much so I'm gonna stop talking so I don't start crying again but really thank you guys so much my name is Weebo you're gonna hear my name here soon so just keep supporting man keep supporting thank you guys so much trying to always top my last performance so I've learned from my past mistakes of like stuff that I should have done or shouldn't have done like a lot of times people don't go for things that they're scared to fail in and I feel like failure is a really really good thing to an extent because when you fail you're supposed to learn from it and then move on and I feel like if you don't put that first foot forward or go towards something that you feel passionate about whether it's producing or just drawing or anything that you are passionate about just take that first step. It's gonna go better than you think, I guarantee it. And if I can do this type of thing, like I'm telling you, anybody really can do it. And there's so much stuff you can learn online from YouTube or just reaching out to other social media people and influencers and stuff like that. I was so timid and so nervous to like start singing again. And half of that was in part because I couldn't speak very well, but I started to try and I tried and tried and tried and tried. And like I said, I failed a lot, but I learned from my mistakes and was able to move on and really it started to click and things just started to fall into place. 
So yeah, my word of advice would just be to go for it and expect to fail, but also expect to pick yourself back up and keep going from those mistakes that you just learned from. But yeah, just go for it. Anybody that's watching has a question or a comment for we vote, leave a comment on the video. If you like what you're seeing, leave a like. Yeah, we want to hear from you, so definitely reach out if you got questions or anything you want to see different or see from me or hear from me. Some type of songs you want to hear, I want to grow too, so hopefully we can grow together with this, with what we're doing right now. Thanks for coming along for this ride. Stay tuned for more shows, more videos, more flows. If you want to keep up to date on what Weebo is doing, you can follow him on Facebook at just Weevo, W E V O, and Instagram at 740 Weevo, same thing, W E V O. I'm on all streaming platforms iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, and that's just Weevo, W E V O. So check it out and stay tuned. to the cave gang but i like the way this beat's going i like the energy we're gonna see where that leads about to make yeah dark yeah there's something to say